So today, one of the biggest and busiest events in the Sacramento region kicks off, and it's going to be loud. We are so excited for this, and I can't believe it's already here. But in just a few hours, thousands of people will be at Discovery Park for this year's Aftershock Festival. So that's where we find ABC 10's Mark S. Allen. Good morning, Mark. Yeah, good morning. It keeps growing and growing. I remember back in the day, uh, I would say 10,000 people, then 20, then 30, 40,000 people. It's literally the calm before the heavy metal storm. Five stages, two headliners, over 130 bands, and take a look at what you get. Iron Maiden, Bruce, by the way, the lead singer returning. We're talking about a band, you talk legends, 50 years Iron Maiden has been doing what they're doing. Then you got Slipknot, 30 years for them. You've got Motley Crue and so many other bands. It is going to be amazing. How amazing and what makes it better this year? I've run out of steam. So let's go to the GM over here, Jamie McCurdy. Thanks so much for hanging out. And uh, this is the calm before the storm. You're about to get busy. Yeah, doors open at 11 a.m. today. We already have some fans lining up. Uh, so we are ready. The site is looking great. Weather's looking great. And we can't wait to welcome everyone. That is awesome. People literally coming from all over the world to this. That makes up the 40000 a year. And it will be selling out. But how are we looking now? Tickets, passes. Yeah, we do have some single days available. So if you want to see Slayer, Till Linderman, Pantera tonight, you can come to our box offices. We have one at our Jaboom Street entrance and also Garden Highway. Also, things you should know, if you go to festivals, like things uh, that you really should know, uh, there's no camping. Don't bring your ice chest, right? Yeah, we have a full list of what you can and can't bring. We ask everyone who's coming, go to our website, aftershockfestival.com, spend five minutes, get prepared to have fun, um, you know, and bring that uh, refillable water bottle or that factory sealed. We do have free water stations here. We are a clear bag policy. And you definitely want to bring in something to, you know, secure your valuables on your body. Awesome. And we are so appreciative of what you bring to the area. I talked to Mike Testa, Visit Sacramento. He talked about just like the hotel nights, all of those people staying in hotel rooms and multiply that time all the people and all the food and uh, all the economic value they bring. Yeah, I mean, not only do we spend a good amount of money producing the events and hiring locally, but the amount of money that it brings in tourism um, into local businesses is something we're incredibly proud of. Uh, you know, that the, the city of Sacramento welcomes us and then that they see the rewards of these great events. I try not to ask personal questions, but I'm going deep. Who's your favorite band? Well, I got a sneak peek a couple weeks ago in Louisville. Um, so, you know, but I think everyone's really excited for Slayer. It's their first show uh, on the West Coast in five years, one of only two this year. And it's a reunion five years in the making. And then we have Iron Maiden's first show ever at Aftershock, Molly Cruz's first show at Aftershock. But man, there's 130 bands. Right. There's something for everyone. I'm rooting for Motley Crue, but we can still be friends. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, you know, if you're getting here, getting here and getting out of here, all you need to know, Jordan, you're the pro on that. All right, Mark, thank you. Yes, we have a lot of information to give you here, so bear with me. I know it's a lot of text on this screen and all of this information, by the way, you can find on our website, abc10.com. I wrote a huge article yesterday with all you need to know about parking around Aftershock, other options to get there, park and ride, and uh, road closure information. So let's start with parking. No on-site parking is available, only ADA options. So there are some lots around the park, but on the website, Aftershock says, they're not affiliated with the festival, so park at your own risk. Other options here, you can bike there. Saba will be out there, and it is a bike valet. It is free of charge, so they will hold on to your scooters, your bikes, your skateboards uh, during the show. So bus service and also light rail service to get to downtown Sac RT is offering free rides with admission. So make sure to present your ticket uh, to whoever is driving your vehicle there to show proof. Uh, that you are going to Aftershock. And they do have a supplemental bus service bringing people from downtown toward the Arco station outside of the venue. There's also rideshare options, two different drop-off areas, Jaboom Street and Garden Highway. And then they do have a park and ride shuttle as well. That is leaving from Cal Expo, and it will take you to and from the event. You can either buy a full weekend pass, a daily pass, but each person that rides the shuttle needs a pass. It's not just per car, so that's something to keep in mind there. In terms of road closures, I did reach out to Sacramento police to see what those are through the area. Uh, just overall, expect a lot of traffic along I-5 near the Discovery Park area, both southbound and northbound. Garden Highway will be impacted as well as Jaboom Street, obviously there. AM, PM hard closures to know about. Eastbound Garden Highway at Natomas Park, westbound Garden Highway at Truxell Road, the Jaboom Street entrance to Discovery Park, and southbound Natomas Park at Capitol Park Drive. So that's morning and night closures. Here are the nighttime closures, just nighttime ones, westbound Richards Boulevard at I-5 overpass, and then, of course, westbound Garden Highway 
at the I-5 northbound off-ramp. And I know that was a lot of information. So again, you could head to our website, abc10.com, for more information on Aftershock.